Hello, Gareth here. So this is a simple watercolour lesson on mixing three paints. So we're going to mix three, three colours, yellow ochre, alizarin crimson and uh, Taylor blue. They're almost primary colours except for the um, yellow ochre which is a bit more brown rather than yellow. So here we go. The first thing we're going to do is draw a triangle, big triangle, and we're going to have our three primary colours here. So there is a reason I use yellow ochre but uh, I'll tell you about that maybe in the future. So first of all instead of yellow. Okay I'll tell you the reason now. It's basically if you use yellow for skies and you mix it with blue it tends to go green. You still can use yellow for skies but you just have to be careful you don't mix it with blue. So if you use yellow ochre instead that doesn't happen. So that's the reason. It doesn't go so green. Okay not so easily. So here we go, we've got our yellow ochre, let's start here. So here is going to be red and we're going to see if we can make four different colours that become increasingly red. So it's good fun doing this. So I take a little bit of red. This is really good practice in mixing your paints. I noticed that with beginners they don't practice mixing enough so ah oh, there we go um, it's different then let's add a bit more red oh yeah okay maybe that was too much add a bit more yellow try and keep the mix consistent uh, by that I mean don't make it more watery or thicker if you can try and keep it the same consistency. Okay and here we go again, more red and I have to compare is it different? Okay maybe I need some more. What do you think? Oh yes it really is good fun and squeeze in one more now, one more here we go. Oh that's too much. I can always add a bit of yellow. So it really is amazing. Yeah and you can see that's different. So I might even be able to do one more but I won't. I'll stop there. It really is amazing how many colours you can actually produce with just three colours and here's our pure red. So um, yeah there might I might even be able to squeeze one more in there but that's enough. Okay now we're going from blue I mean from red to blue. Oh dear I'm colour blind. <laughs> Not good for an artist. Okay so here we go. We've got a red. Now we really have to be careful with blue because it is a dominant colour. It's a powerful colour. So I'm scraping some off. See how I start at the edge? I don't start in the middle and I move in. That's very important. And I don't need to make the whole mix the same colour because I'm only using a little. So here we go. Yeah, that's different. Okay, some more blue. And a bit more. Bit too much, so add some red. Add some more red. It's a kind of wine colour, isn't it? Okay, here we go. Yeah. Mm. Maybe I've gone a bit too blue too quickly. Oh, I definitely have now. 
so it really is good fun this it's a real challenge but it will really help you with your mixing and oh yeah so I, I think this is going to be the darkest kind of color on the whole spectrum oh yeah there we go lovely so wash my brush out and then let's do pure blue so you notice how I'm using these different spaces I'm not sure what you call them but using these different space spaces and keeping them separate so that can be really helpful it's just a simple thing but being organized in that way will make your painting life so much easier and it, it really should help you with your painting as well so here we go we're going to go from blue now to yellow yellow ochre so this is an that weird kind of greeny blue color I kind of like it that color okay and now add some more so if you've got you see how I start at the edge then if I've got too much I'll just dump it here um, and then with less yellow ochre blend it in but now I've got too little so I'll scrape that up and blend that in and I don't like I said before I don't have to mix everything oh yeah some really interesting colors here so you could use all these greens for trees um, maybe not that one but this one and the next two so here we go yeah and this is now a real definite green isn't it and then let's do one more our final one And there we go look at that so um, please have a go it's very simple exercise but it's good practice for mixing and seeing how many beautiful colors you can make with just three also if you have found it enjoyable please give me a thumbs up and uh, it might possibly help my video to do better <laughs> so thank you for watching and uh, enjoy watercolor painting. Bye for now.